Welcome back. So the test battery has been on charge now for 24 hours. Um, I've left it in the shed overnight. We're going to now go and check out what the status of it is. If you remember yesterday when we plugged it in, it didn't even have enough power to turn on the display on the charge unit. Um, it was putting out 5.4 volts and 0% charge. So it was pretty much dead. So uh, yeah, let's see the proof. So here is the battery yesterday it's um, if you remember it's a 70 amp hour battery um, it's not a very large unit as I said it came out of a petrol powered um, Lexus I think it's an IS 300 or something um, and here is our charger as you can see it's completed the uh, charge of a process of the unit and uh, if you remember yesterday I put it on a recovery mode um, and now it automatically switched to charge and very very nice to see a hundred percent so we're going to use the unit to test a few functions of the battery and see what the cranking power is how much um, life is left in it and so on so um, quite chuffed about this so exit the uh, charging go into test mode and well the percentage and let's see what it tells us about this battery so 100 percent charge get a thumbs up 13.3 volts um that's the current status of this battery now again if i go into test into the uh, cranking power mode asks for the cca um or the en so i can tell on the by the sticker on the battery the en on this is 540 so I set the EN, go to 540, so this will tell me how much cranking power is left in this battery. This is really the, the true test of whether this battery is good enough to go back in a car or not, because if this number is not really high enough, um, although it will hold charge and it would be great for a shed project or an off-grid kind of small solar power project it's not going to be really good enough to power a car because after a few cranking of the uh, uh, of the starter it's not going to hold enough power to be able to restart the engine but let's do this test <clears throat> so the here we go 84 percent still a thumbs up so this battery is actually still capable of putting out 455 amps um, in terms of cranking power and it's 84 percent good um, so it's it's astonishing that this battery yesterday um wasn't good enough to charge the car and one thing that i failed to kind of mention was um we jump started my neighbor's car with the, when this battery was still in the car and he drove it around for a good two two hours or so to did a long journey um and without stopping the car and the next day it still didn't have any charge in it that shows how discharged it was but here we go look at this 84 percent and like i said you know it's um this unit has done done wonders for me um it's it saved a fair few batteries one more here now i can easily use this for uh my garage um i actually I'm in the process of putting um, light uh, in, a, in a garage. It's not connected to, to where I live, so and it doesn't have any electricity. Uh, so it'd be good to have that. So here we go. A big thumbs up for this unit. Um, it's done its job. Automatically turns itself off and jobs are good. In. So as you can see, there is some life left in that battery. Now, these batteries are, that is an, a, a lead acid battery. So. Um, it's got lead inside, which is bad for the environment. It's got acid. Um, it's typically sulfuric acid, which is really bad for the environment. It's really corrosive, a hazardous material. And also the casing is pl plastic too. So and think of how many cars um, have the problem of the batteries going dead um, because of all these short journeys that we do these days uh, because of modern life. Um, and it, it's, it's, the, it's the harm it puts into the environment. Not not only those dead old batteries need to be disposed of then a new battery needs to be built to replace that and now that we're going to the age of lithium-ion batteries and god knows how they can be rejuvenated i'm sure there is a process um 
but but yeah we're just putting more and more waste into the environment and creating things that are not necessarily needed um so yeah good to spend 60 70 pounds on a charger that then actually saves the life of a 90 100 pound 150 pound battery um hope you like this video thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe to my channel lots of random videos like this um, coming up and i'm i'm doing more videos subscribe to my channel if you this is the kind of content that um, you like and hope you watch the rest of the videos too have a good day thanks bye